When we benchmark hardware for most reviews, we start fresh with the latest drivers and updated versions of whichever applications we're using. This time, however, you'll recognize most of the hardware and benchmarks from our AMD FX8150 review, allowing us to compare Intel's Core i7-3960X to the Zambezi, Thuban, and Deneb designs from AMD and Intel's Sandy Bridge, Gulf Town, and Bloomfield architectures. For this review, we're adding the Core i7-3960X and Core i7-990X to the list of tested processors, representing two six-core, $1,000 flagship CPUs from Intel. The 3960X operates at 3.3 GHz base and accelerates up to 3.9 GHz with a single core active. The 990X runs at 3.43 GHz base, speeding up to 3.7 GHz through turbo boost. Intel got its DX79 SI motherboard to us before any of the third-party vendors, so we put it up on the bench first. Having learned from its first DX58 SO board, which came with four memory slots for a triple channel architecture, this model is more obviously designed with enthusiasts in mind, including eight DDR3 DIMM slots, three PCIe 3.0 slots, and a by 16 by 16 by 8 configuration for three-way graphics and plenty of I.O. Given great stability and performance in line with our expectations for Sandy Bridge E, we felt comfortable using it to benchmark in today's review. In order to help maximize memory capacity and performance, Crucial sent over two of its 16 gigabyte DDR3-1333 kits, giving us a total of 32 gigabytes on the quad and dual channel test systems and 24 gigabytes on the triple channel ASUS X58 board. NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 580 is the fastest single GPU card available, and we used it in one and two card configurations to help alleviate graphics bottlenecks and test for any differences in PCI Express performance. Finally, a couple of 250 gigabyte Intel SSD 510 drives help us maintain independent test benches for Intel and AMD machines. While a Cooler Master UCP 1100 watt power supply ensures plenty of headroom even with multiple graphic cards installed. 